I ensure the Idahoans that we are listening. I've traveled all across the state and met with you over the last 10 months, and every story that I've heard is a heartening story, but one that I've often heard is, I've never had a politician come to my community and listen to my stories, listen to my experience. And here I am, Idaho. Thank you for sharing your stories and your experiences. I hear all of you, and I am with you, and this is why I'm running for governor. And some, some still say that it feels like a lack of transparency that you won't share with us about how you're going to vote on Proposition 2. Can I get you to reveal that with us tonight? It is not my first choice. We no longer can be the last of everything. We have to start working to be the first of everything. Under the last failed leadership of the last nine years of the Little Otter administration, we have suffocated our communities. This is why we have to do better. This is why we need new leadership that is going to listen to the people of Idaho. But how can you say that we're doing any better when we're still last in the country when it comes to teacher pay? How can you be proud of yourself when you have divested in education and we are still at less than 40% or 40th, 47th, 49th, 50th, and 51st when it comes in rankings in this country when it comes to education? The fact that we have divested so much so in education has failed our future. We can no longer live with this type of leadership that leaves out our children. The current administration, this little otter administration, that continues to do nothing, and while they're standing proud on these failing numbers, having unmet goals, how can they tolerate them just continuing to run for office? Why do we want more of the same? Why would we want to continue to fail Idaho?